Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got that Princess of Swords over here. So you have been dealing with very, very difficult situations. You've got these two crows over here. So that's, you know, showing like uh, things have been, you know, uh, a bit difficult. Maybe you have had two people uh, that have been giving you a lot of problems recently. And this is the winter, so, you know, you've been feeling a sense of lack as well. But you are very, very determined to get, um, you know, things done. You are making plans for the future, and you've been through a lot, so you are being very, very determined in how you get things sorted out. So you are feeling a, a little bit of lack. You can see there's it's a very bleak kind of uh, background over there. So, you know, it looks like there's no leaves on the trees either. But you are very determined to get um, um, your goals uh, sorted out and you're you know you're keeping everybody away from you you're not engaging uh, in a lot of uh, with a lot of people so you are keeping to yourself right now the this um, princess of swords is about you know just being uh, you know totally to yourself keeping to yourself and uh, trying to get things going uh, but being very determined to go forward you've got that prince of cups over here uh, so there it looks like there might be some offer coming in for you so all that you're trying to to keep to yourself and you know get things done uh, by yourself it looks like there might be some kind of offer and support coming in for you this seems to be a very friendly kind of a person and uh, you know they've got a lot of Pisces, uh, Pisces energy over here there's Neptune in Pisces over there so they seem very supportive very nice very kind and they're bringing in some kind of offer for you so it's worth considering this might be a really good friendship you've got the two dolphins over here it looks like you know you'll be very very intellectually in tune with this person uh, if they bring this offer in for you so you've got the hermit card over here and that is spending a lot of time by yourself so you've been focusing a lot of yourself being you know you're getting that ambition going there and you're focusing on that work uh, the hermit card is ruled by um, Venus over here uh, sorry by Virgo and you've got Mercury in Virgo over there so very very work focused very very work orientated and you know just trying to get things done being very very organized very sorted out um, you know getting yourself structured as well and looking to the future and making plans and then of course this person comes in over here this prince of comes comes in over here and offers you a little bit of um, a relief from all that difficulty that you're going through and it, you know it looks like a very supportive person coming in a very good friendship so in the past you've got the queen of cups over here and the ace of wands and it looks like with that queen of cups you have been very very depressed uh, you know crying over things uh, maybe even plotting your revenge as to how to get uh, you know your get it back uh, get back your own with the person that you dealt with who gave you so much of grief so it looks like you know you've um, you've been thinking about it quite a lot you've got this Pluto here sitting in uh, Scorpio so you know you want to, you've been putting an end to things uh, that difficult situation but also you know with uh, with the Scorpio sign over there you know um, it, you want your revenge you want to get what is rightly yours you know uh, whatever they did to you uh, you've been thinking about it quite a bit looking to the past thinking about it quite a bit and you know uh, you've been very upset you hope that they get karmic justice but it looks like you know you're putting yourself into a very constructive uh, energy because you've got this ace of wands coming in over here and it looks like you're focusing all your energies on yourself on your work and going forward so um, you know you are getting yourself um, together you're pulling it together and you are focusing learning how to focus your energies on moving yourself forward now going into the future you've got this prince of swords over here there could be some kind of legalities that you're dealing with as well uh, with a queen a princess of sword there might be even a uh, a, a legal message that is coming in as well so maybe you were also waiting for some kind of legal decision uh, and it looks like it's coming in so maybe you might be tying up some legal ends over there uh, with the prince of swords that message looks like it might be coming in there's some kind of communication you've got mercury uh, in gemini coming in over here there looks like there was some decision that's going to be made and you're going to be getting news about it and then you've got that prince of pentacles over here uh, this is again focused focusing back on work and and uh, you know having a vision for the future you can see this man's got a, um, the coin in his hand but he's deciding how he's going to be uh, using it or how he's going to um, expend his energies where you're going to put your investments in so that is what you're thinking about now with this prince of pentacles following this prince of swords over here you could well be receiving some kind of legal payoff as well 
uh, something that helps money coming in as well from whatever this legal decision is. So there might be some money coming in. You could also be starting a new job if you're not dealing with legal situations uh, with that Prince of Pentacles starting a new job and maybe signing some new legal contracts as well. Maybe you put yourself out there for a new um, post and it might be that you're getting news about it and you're going to be signing some new contracts and you're going to be moving forward with that. There is messages about money coming in with this Prince of Pentacles because you've got that Mercury sitting over there as well. And uh, with that Prince of Swords, there's also a Mercury sitting there as well. So it looks like this is Mercury sitting in Virgo and this is Mercury sitting in uh, Gemini. This could be communication about work. It could also be you know, communication about a payout that you're going to get with regards to any kind of legal case that you may be dealing with as well. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Tarot of the Spirit World. This is for the main read. Okay, at the bottom of the deck. So you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in. You've got the justice card over here. You've got this judge sitting there uh, holding the scales. So it looks like there are some legalities that you're waiting to resolve. Uh, the previous energy said there might be some kind of payout that comes with that. So you are sitting and waiting for this legal decision to come through. So what's happening with you? You've got that Four of Swords over here and you've got the Queen of Swords. So both of these cards are sitting and waiting. With this uh, Four of um, Swords, you can see, you know, it's taken its toll on you. This, this, these are both cards of being very, very stressed out after dealing with a lot of problems. And, you know, you're trying to walk away from it. You may have had to even defend yourself in this particular situation. And there was a decision. You can see there's two people over here deciding what's going to happen. And here you are sitting and waiting. And you can see this man is very stressed out. Whatever happened um, has had a lot of effect on you, whatever legal matter that you have been dealing with. Um, so, you know, you have been maybe taking a little bit of a time out, a little bit of a break from it. But it may have affected your health in quite a negative way as well uh, with all this uh, legal problems that you've been dealing with. So you have been dealing with some legal situations and it looks like you know um, you're also very determined to get uh, through this particular situation you're not hanging around there waiting for things to happen you are determined to move forward but there's some kind of legal decision that you're waiting for right now so you've got uh, the hanged man over here another card of waiting so whatever problems you had to deal with there was a lot of sacrifice and suffering a lot of suffering on your side uh, you know and you know things were really um upside down really turned your world upside down with the um the hanged man it's about giving up too much in a situation and not getting any um any kind of help from anybody else being alone and being in a very difficult situation as well so that's been going on for the last year you've got this two of pentacles over here this is juggling things this is trying to assess things so maybe that's what you've been doing it's been affecting your finances as well whatever this legal problem is that you've been going through and you know you've had to really uh maybe you had to even work two jobs to keep that finances balanced this is about you reassessing as well about what uh, you know, you want to focus on what your priorities are. And this is what's been going on in this last few months. So you're doing something. Maybe you're even teaching as well because you've got this man in front of this uh, board. Um, you know. So you could be doing some kind of a job where you're actually doing, um, you know, teaching people. And this is also about, you know, managing that finances as well. So a lot of focus is on money. It's on work. It's about trying to find balance, um, you know, trying to get yourself sorted out as well. Now, what's in your mind? You've got that Ten of Cups. You want this difficult situation to be over and you want to move on. You've got a decision as well to make over here. So you've been thinking about this decision and how to move forward and how to end whatever difficult situation you've been going through. So you're going through a lot of emotional turmoil. You know, Ten Cups worth of difficulties uh, is a lot. And so you have, gone, you know, you've had been facing a lot of problems. Um, and right now, uh, you know, you're waiting for some kind of decision. Once the decision gets made, you know, you'll be able to move forward as well. This is also, you know, with this Queen of Swords is spending a lot of time by yourself. 
uh, you know, you've, you've let go of the past, but you're spending a lot of time by yourself as well. Now you've got the seven of wands over here. So this is, you can see there's a little, there's a devil behind. So you might be pressurized to make decisions or you might be pressurized by people around you. Now the seven of wands is facing a lot of problems and having to defend yourself. Uh, you know, you have to tell people why you're doing things and standing your ground and, uh, you know, maybe presenting your problems to people in such a way that they can understand. Whatever you're doing, you're going against whatever everybody else says. So you're going against the grain and this is making people uncomfortable. Uh, so you're following your own path, but this is not what they expected you to do. And maybe this is the reason why they're coming at you. And you're having to defend yourself. So you're in a very, very difficult situation right now. Uh, you know, you're having to keep up your guard and fight your way through this particular situation. Maybe a lot of people are almost attacking you. This is like about being attacked by a lot of people. And, uh, you know, maybe you're dealing with uh, energies that you can't even uh, see. Because you've got this demon or this devil behind this woman. So maybe people are doing things behind your back and you're having to defend yourself. She's got the rods behind her back. So, you know, you've got a lot of backstabbing going on around you as well. So what's going on with you? You've got the Six of Cups over here. So it looks like there's some kind of offer that is going to come in. <coughs> it might be a love offer. So you might be <clears throat> reuniting with somebody from the past. But this could also be a work offer. This could be an offer for study, further study as well, because it's the cups as well. So it's something brand new, a brand new project that you want are going to begin. And it's going to grow once you start it off. With the six of cups, <clears throat> this new offer that comes in, or this offer that comes in is from somebody that you knew from the past. So even if you they offer you a, a, you know further study or even a job, you may have worked with them in the past. You know them from the past. You've met them before. So this is somebody that you're familiar with that brings this offer to you. You've got the 10 of uh, wands over here. So you have been going through a lot of difficulties. The work situation has been very, very hard as well. You can see there's a devil in that furnace as well. So, you know, the... Even your work situation, which has taken its toll on you, has been causing a lot of problems. And, you know, you have been almost chained to that. Uh, you know, it's been, um, it's been a very, very hard um, period that you're going through. That's probably why you're very, very defensive at this particular moment. And you can see this man's working very, very hard here. Um, you know, with this little cold shovel over here. It's got a lot of logs. So it's had to cut this off and cut this wood and carry it there. So you are now letting go of these burdens. So you are reaching the end of that particular difficult cycle that you're going through and you are now going to be moving forward. And there's been a lot of drama as well going on in your work situation, it seems. You might have been dealing with somebody. There's two devils in this a spread here. <laughs> Goodness. So you've got one here where, that you've been defending yourself against in the seven of uh, wands and sitting next to it, you've got that 10 of um, wands over here and the devil's in the fireplace. So this looks like in your work situation, you've been dealing with somebody that's been giving you a lot of grief, a lot of hassle, been uh, uh, causing a lot of problems for you and maybe bullying you as well. But they're going into the furnace here. This is very uh, positive because it seems like, you know, you're finally getting rid of this person or they are going to fade out of your life. So whoever this person is that has been giving you problems is now going into the, fi into the fire and they'll burn off. So it looks like that energy is now leaving you. That difficult energy will burn itself out and it will leave your, your arena. So what's uh, your hopes and fears? You've got this queen of pentacles and you want the money to come in and you're hoping that it comes in pretty soon. So it looks like you have been, you may have even been uh, going to psychics. You've got this crystal ball over here or you're using your intuition a lot with this queen of pentacles. This is your card. Uh, so you are now focused on the money and you want that money to come in. This has been the only thing that's been on your mind, your financial success. So going to the future, you've got the Temperance card, the High Priestess, and the Wheel of Fortune. So with the Temperance card over here, you can see, uh, you know, working pretty hard as well. But also, uh, you know, getting, throwing, emptying out this container of water over here. Now with the Temperance card, it's about achieving balance. It's about blending ideas. It's about blending all the things that you've learned in order for you to move forward. Putting that into your work, all your past experiences into your work um, in order for you to move forward. But it's also getting rid of, rid of all that negativity and finding your goal again. You've got that tree in the background over here. So you are moving towards stability over here. You're 
you know, disposing of all those negative emotions and you're working forward. And also the temperance card, it advises that, you know, if you have people around you giving you advice, it is a good time for you to take that advice and, and listen to it because it's going to be really productive advice that is coming your way. There's the high priestess over here. So this is also about, uh, you know, going in within yourself and finding advice from within yourself, finding the answers inside of you rather than going, uh, you know, relying on your own intuition. So get whatever advice is coming, it's important to listen to that. But it's also important to listen to your inner voice in order for you to move forward. Uh, and this could also be even a card about, uh, you know, further study. So if you need to study further in order for you to improve your skill set, in, in order for you to move forward and achieve your financial goals, it's important to do that. You've got the Wheel of Fortune over here. So this is, in this deck, it's about a clock. So, you know, maybe you've got this feeling that time is running out. Uh, but there's some kind of timing that is at play at the moment. So maybe you just need to wait for things to, to start moving rather than being too uh, pushy about things. So there is a clock um, over there, uh, you know, and it is important. You are maybe working towards deadlines. There might be a lot of activity going on around you and things are going to start moving pretty quickly as well uh, for you. So time is starting to move on and, uh, you know, things are starting to move on as well. So um, put things that are not serving you into the past. Rely on your own intuition. You'll be getting some advice. There's some offer that's also coming in over here. And with this uh, Wheel of Fortune, it looks like things Things are starting to change. Big changes are coming in and, you know, you just have to wait for it. There's divine timing at place over here. And when the time is right, things will start moving very, very quickly. In fact, you'll be, you'll be so busy, you won't even know what to do. It looks like that negative energy that you have been dealing with is finally coming to an end. That person's going to that furnace there. So that, you know, that controlling, manipulative energy uh, that you were dealing with. And it looks like it's something in your work situation. That energy is moving away. Maybe that person is retiring or moving away from you. Uh, but they are definitely, uh, once they leave, those burdens leave as well. So you will be able to overcome and, uh, you know, you're going to be victorious as far as that goes. So it looks like you are wa waiting for that legal um, situation, legal closure, some kind of legal case uh, that you are waiting for. Um, you're waiting for some closure from, from that as well. And you can see you're definitely going to get some news. And with that news, you're going to be able to move forward. So it, it looks like it's going to be a positive outcome uh, because you're going to be able to move forward as well because you've got this thoroughbred horse running forward. So get ready for progress to speed up. The situation requires that you choose logic and intellect over emotion and make decisions wisely. So whatever is coming in for you is going to allow you to move forward, give you the advantage, and you will be able to move forward. So once that decision is made, uh, you know, the hangman phase now comes to an end. You were, uh, you know, in the hangman phase, uh, but it looks like that is coming to an end. You made a lot of sacrifices. There's been this legal situation, and now it looks like you're going to be moving forward, and you will receive news about it. Um, and it says you need to be focused, driven, and impulsive. So you need to, once this decision is made, uh, you know, we'll put the past to rest and move forward. You've got the strength card over here. So this is true strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. So this is taking control of that situation and sorting it out. You were dealing with a very, very difficult person. And this is now finally you being in control or taking charge of that situation. And, uh, you know, um, knowing how to cope with that particular person. Uh, you know, they might have been somebody who... Um, this could have even been a fire sign person that you were dealing with. It could have been a Leo. Um, uh, it could have been a Leo person, actually. Um, but um, you are now being, you know, you are now sorting out the problem and you'll be able to deal with it. You've got the Seven of Autumn over here, which is the car, which says the planning resources and uh, effects you have invested, sorry, and efforts that you have invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on your next steps. So you've got that cow. It's a sign of abundance. There's a lot of uh, wheat in this field over here. So things are coming your way. You know, whatever you've invested in, uh, the seven of autumn is the investment card. So whatever you're invested in, uh, it looks like it's going to be paying off. So if you've been going through a difficult work situation, it looks like that person is moving away and all your efforts that you've invested in that particular job is going to start paying out. And things are going to start moving on. You've got that 
uh, Wheel of Fortune card over there with that big clock, so things are going to start moving forward for you. So, you know, you are starting to progress, and, uh, you know, financially, it, think, it looks like things are going to be settling down for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.